It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Roosterlers and it's a Gilt Edge Lager Beer coming in at 4.8% ABV. I really like the styling of this can. It's a plain silver can, but it's got a, almost like a bottle label wrapped around it. Um, I like, I, I just like that style. It, it just appeals to me. 4.8% uh, ABV as I mentioned, it's been brewed with California Cluster and Cascade Hops, sounds good to me, not had anything from this company before, but at this stage of the review I would like to thank our channel sponsors beersofeurope.co.uk, this is where the beer came from, it's the largest online beer store in the UK with great craft beer from around the world if you've if you've been traveling somewhere you've just got back to the UK and you want to try the beer you were drinking on holiday or traveling what you found traveling then beers of Europe you will more than likely find it on their website great American beer great Belgian beer great German beer great beer from the UK Australian beer beers of Europe beers of the world beersofeurope.co.uk go and check them out they're a great great online store but if you're down Norfolk way they've got a massive warehouse so go and pop in and buy some beer off them beer in the glass it's very clear nice carbonation rolling from the bottom of this this glass nice steady carbonation it's a two finger white rocky foam head which is dissipating it's kind of hanging around I like that head on the beer as I said, it's crystal clear, it's not hazy at all. Let's get the aroma. Ooh, and this is a spicy little number. You do get that cascade hop, but also, oh, it's, um, it's a bit peppery. A bit of black pepper, lemon, mango. This smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers. yeah that is very very different you begin it's all split second thoughts and tastes even now what I'm speaking I'm crossing from in split seconds I'm crossing from I'm about to talk to you about the Cascade Hop, that lovely grapefruity, lemony, sharp, vitamin C taste. But then, as I was about to say that, I went over to another flavour which was the very, it's almost very spicy this beer. Like, like almost, they would have mentioned that the, they put sour hops in here, but they, they haven't. It must be the California Cluster that's doing this. Now guys, I'm from the UK. I'm not expected to know each hop variety around the world and, and what it should taste like. I'm not a magician, I'm just a man from Wales in the UK standing here reviewing beer. I know what a lot on, yeah, I, I suppose a lot of the hops should taste like, but this one, this California Cluster, I'm picking up a lovely, kind of rich spiciness, a black pepper. Is it the California Cluster that's, that's doing this? Please comment. Please put your comments in the comments box. I'd love to hear from you. It's also lovely and malty. It's 
a chewy toffee malt of freshly baked bread and now I was just about to say if you think if you cast your mind back to when I had my first taste when I said even now I'm getting different tastes and that taste that sensation on the back end of this beer is a lovely rasping but not overly vicious bitterness it is 42 IBUs but with it being 4.8% ABV and the amount of malt that they've used in this beer it's nice there is an element of sweetness so that balances the bitterness but when that bitterness comes through boy doesn't it come through but it's a nice pardon me it's a nice rasping not overly done bitterness for the ABV of the beer you could certainly session this the grapefruit, the mango a bit of pear in there the malt, that black pepper spiciness is great and then as I'm speaking now that bitterness that's ramping up on the back end it's phenomenal absolutely phenomenal and again I apologize for repeating myself but please comment is it the California cluster hop just, just bring in that really nice peppery bitterness to the beer that is for 2014 at least one of the nicest beers I've tried as of yet from America we're still in July we've still got a lot more kind of beers from America to review but so far I'm over the moon with that it's 4.8% ABV, it's sessionable, you could take a six pack to the beach, not make a mess of yourselves. The can's crushable, it stays fresh, the hops in the beer are great, the, the malt is, is nice and sweet and balances the beer. I cannot say enough about this beer. Positive things about this beer, it's really good. Get it from if you're in the UK, pick this up from Beers of Europe. You will not be disappointed. Okay, thanks for watching my review. Let's give it a rating out of 10. For me, for me, I'm gonna give that a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. That is such a solid beer. I am really impressed. I want to mention one more thing again I'm going to cover over what I spoke earlier about but I want to talk to you about that that nice I, I just like that plain silver can that's got a, a almost like a bottle label it's a can label but it's they, they it's almost like a bottle label that they put on I, I like that style I like the way they've gone about it 9 out of 10 for Roosters Gilt Edge Lager Beer 4.8% ABV. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.